There might be a bit of paper left under the pool of coffee. Try to remember what I wrote, and you just laugh. We better have a talk, think it might last until it's dark. When the candlelights are out, I really think it's goodbye. I'm lying helpless on the floor. It's how we spend our days. It's tragic in so many ways. I just stumbled to the Hello guys. Welcome to a little few days in my life vlog. I'm calling it like a productivity vlog because that's truly what it's gonna be. Um, it's not gonna be the same as my weekly vlog just because it's not gonna be the same length. Last week I had like two hours of footage that I managed to get down to like an hour and ten and I just needed for the mental a little break from filming those because it's a lot of like editing for sure. Filming isn't so bad, but it's the editing. I just want to take a little break from doing those uh, just for this week. Probably be back with another one next week. And yeah, it's just to really avoid having to take two weeks off every so often or whatever. Although I still plan to do that. Filming these makes it easier to, you know, get that break in. No one cares. Let me tell you what I'm doing right now though. So I am currently on sprints with my patrons. We are at hour three, almost hour four of sprints. I started them at 8.30 a.m. this morning, a little bit earlier actually, because I needed to make my oatmeal <laughs> and my coffee. And it's noon right now. We have started doing hour and a half long sprints. Most people, also if you don't know what sprints are, basically it's, if you look up the Pomodoro timer, Pomodoro method. That's where it stems from. But basically you're just on a live stream or a video. There's lots of videos for it too, where you guys just read for a set amount of time. Then you chat, read, chat, read. It's how I used to do like studying and stuff always because it's just, it's good to get that break and then focus, you know? So that is just a breakdown of what sprints are. They're that, but live. And we have gone from doing like what I feel is probably the norm for a lot is 30 to 45 minutes. That's very often what you see to working up to an hour and then now we're at an hour and a half. And I have to say, I love doing the hour and a half long sprints because I feel like I get so much done every single sprint. And a few people just said that in the chat too. And so it made me think of it and I'm like, yes, it's so true. Cause I was thinking about that literally yesterday, but last Tuesday we went for nine hours, I think. <laughs> It was like eight to five or eight to six. I don't know which one, but it was a long time. However, I am currently reading The Soulmate by Sally Hepworth. This video, I guess, is going to be kind of a more behind the scenes version of a weekly vlog. It's still a little bit of a weekly vlog, probably shorter and more focused on like getting things done, staying off the interwebs. Um, I have set all of my screen time things back up and I have my Flora app going so that I can grow my little trees and not be on my phone a whole lot. The only thing I'm breaking it for is Emily D. Baker is doing a live stream today, so obviously I'm gonna watch that. First things first though is I want to read some more of this. I just finished The Last Word by Taylor Adams last night and it was very, very good. I read it in about a total of three to four hours and it was just good. I would recommend that for sure if you want like fast paced, quick little read, definitely. I am currently in the middle of filming my This Vlog Ends When I Find a Five Star Read vlog and this is, I don't remember what book we're on now. However many books I've read in May so far, I believe are included in that video. Maybe not the first one I finished, but it's about that. So it's like the fourth or fifth, I think. And the books I'm reading are fun. They're good. They're interesting, but they're just not five stars. And I think it's because during this time of the month, I get very anxious. And for some reason, I really want thrillers and mysteries because I think that they distract my brain so well. 
that it helps me to focus on that instead of literally anything else. With that being said, this video, this is the book that I'm going to be focusing on. I'm going to read some now. We are at noon, like I said. We're going until 1 p.m. I'm going to read this for about an hour, see where we get. I'm currently on page 10. So we're making moves and I'm going to listen to Miss Emily in the background. And then I guess the rest of the video, like tomorrow we're going out and doing some doctor's appointments. I have a dentist appointment on Thursday. That's not fun. That's why I don't think that this video is going to last past tomorrow, just because I do want it to be a little bit shorter and I have dental work. If y'all are <laughs> new here, let me tell you, I first of all have extreme anxiety, but health is like one of the top things that I get anxious about. Uh, my anxiety likes to just be... A feeling that I feel. There's really never a rhyme or reason, but if something health comes up, it will latch. So it's latching, which is great. I'm literally just getting a feeling, but you would think the world's ending because it feels like it to me. Like my heart, she's racing. I am definitely trying to distract myself with this, with filming tomorrow, being super productive. We're gonna go... Like I said, to some doctor's appointments tomorrow, continuing into Thursday, I am going to go to probably Barnes & Noble and do some editing in their cafe. I may look at the books. I just want to be around books, if I'm honest. I'm probably going to bring my library book, though. My goal would be to finish this one probably realistically early. Ooh hello early tomorrow is when i would finish it and then the next one i'm really wanting to get further into is a day of fallen night this is the prequel to priory of the orange tree and it is also the patreon book club that i'm trying to get read and i'm on page 159 which is chapter 19. i am really liking it I am just not in a huge fantasy mood because I am, it's that time. So what really needs to happen is I need to finish that and then continue with the thrillers until I feel better. And then I'm going to have to get on Gideon the Nine and The Undertaking of Mercy and Heart because those are my Patreon book clubs for this month. And I'm filming vlogs for both of them. Gotta get on those when I'm in that fantasy mood. I'm just saying it out loud to remind myself, honestly. But for now... We're mentally elsewhere reading thrillers <laughs> and that's just what the goal is gonna be so i will check in with you guys a little bit later when i've made any progress or we're gonna do anything interesting or productive um doesn't feel like it today honestly got a bit of a headache there's a storm blowing in when isn't there it's may and yeah i'm gonna watch this stream and i will see you guys later Hello guys. This lighting is really good, but I forgot my camera battery and we're out for the whole day today. So that sucks for me. But we did go get Starbucks as you saw, because again, literally we woke up at what time, whatever time I showed. And then 
I just did my makeup really fast, got all my stuff together, and we're here. So we're having another doctor's appointment day. Love bonding, love a date day. <laughs> and I just finished my first task of the day, which was to film my Squarespace integration for my bookshelf organization video, which is up if you want to check it out. I'll link it down below. Um, but I now am deciding on if I want to go to Barnes or if I want to go to the library. Honestly, I'm more in the mood to go sit in a library just because libraries are chatty, but they're productive, whereas Barnes and Nobles aren't always that way. Let's see where the nearest library is because, oh, boom right there and it opens in 22 minutes all right so we're gonna go to the library we're gonna hang out in there i'm gonna get some editing done i'm gonna edit the bookshelf organization video that integration the majority of this vloggy vlog i'm just gonna put it all together i don't know if i'll actually edit it that much and then we're gonna get back to reading because last night i did make quite the dent in the soulmate well it's not a big dent it's that dent it's a little dent it's like a little Boop. Uh, but I'm on page 113, chapter 25. So there's a better visual. What if I could, like, say things? <laughs> but uh, this is definitely more of the, like, family drama thing, for sure. And I do still think it falls under mystery or thriller. I don't know if I would say... Okay, Here's the thing. I feel like mysteries and thrillers are definitely in the same category, but they either lean heavier into the mystery aspect or the thriller aspect. I think that this one leans more into the mystery aspect because it's just everything's kind of unfolding. However, sometimes this author does have some more thriller elements come in at the very end. Not saying that's going to be the case with this one. It doesn't feel like it's going to be the case with this one. Either way, I'm enjoying it. I'm liking it. It's a good time. It's definitely taking my mind off of being mentally ill and all the brain goblins that come with uh, anxiety. Um, yeah, my goblins are just, there's a lot. So I do have water to combat said goblins, but because this is not my usual library that I go to, I'm going to check out the rules online before I go in because I do want to be able to drink my coffee. But if they don't allow that. I don't want to be told that in person because that would be embarrassing for me. I would like to make more progress in this after I edit. I really do think I could finish this today. I like have 200 pages left and then y'all are resting on a day of fall and night and that is like my next project. That's the next book that I really got to get into. I'm in a very thriller mood. I really don't want to read anything but thrillers. I always get this way. We've talked about it ad nauseum. Like we, we know. We know. Still, I need to read this fantasy because it's for the book club. Gotta get it done. But anyways, let me go find the route to get to our next destination. And let's go. Okay. Okay. When I tell you this lady is staring into my heart and soul. Ma'am. Okay, so I am done at the library. Y'all saw the steering wheel. I, I did a little bit of editing. I did the bookshelf reorganization, but I'm in a reading mood. I do not want to edit uh, this video yet, so I'm going to procrastinate it. Also, it's going to give me an excuse to go to Central and get a coffee and edit this weekend, so... Oh no, but mainly I wanted to go to Sephora because I really like this one that we're near today and I want to grab, it's milk, primer, and setting spray because I saw Jackie Ina talk about it and because Jackie Ina talked about it, I'm gonna buy it because that's how my life goes. So I'm here to get that. I'm gonna look at some other stuff, some skincare stuff, and just kind of shop around a little bit. There is a Target right across from me, so we might have to go in there too. And there is a huge storm coming by noon. So I really need to find like somewhere to eat. I'm craving Panera. I do not need it, but I need it. You know, I think I want it. Can I get the pick two with the Caesar salad and mac and cheese? PEMDAS. I remember PEMDAS from high school. That cancels it out, right? I think so. I think so. So anyways, let's go in. Oh my God, this Jeep zipped, zammed, zoomed right in next to me. My hot one a little pit pow. Anyways, let's go shopping. Bye.
Hello, the car is on because it's getting a little muggy, guys, and I don't feel like having my car off. But I'm going to rest you on top of my salad that I got from Panera because I did end up getting the little pick two with um, the salad, the half Caesar, and a baguette. And what was the last thing? Oh, mac and cheese, duh, which is right here, but it's super hot. So I'm not eating it yet, I'm gonna wait. And while I wait, I figured I'd show you what I got at Sephora. So I already love this setting powder, but this is the Rare Beauty setting powder. I got it in the lightest shade that they have. I wish they had a translucent one, but I have it on today and I think it looks good. Uh, then I did exactly what Miss Jackie told me to do. And I went and I picked up the Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray by Milk and the Grip Primer. And these are both in the Hydro line. I haven't tried this brand, haven't tried this line. Don't know anything about it, but I'm very excited about this. I loved all the stuff. I almost got their makeup remover, but if you wear makeup, I don't wear it often enough that I feel like I need to buy a super expensive one, but also then part of me is like, well, I don't buy it. I don't wear makeup often, but when I do, it's like a lot of it and I want something that's good. So maybe splurging on it makes sense because then it's skincare and to me, skincare is one of the things that I'm willing to spend the extra cash on if I have it because it's just good for you and it's good for my skin and also I mainly splurge on sunscreen like I just like sunscreen so I also I surely didn't need them but I needed them you know and I didn't realize they were in store in Sephora I don't know where I got my first ones that I have I might have ordered them on Amazon but I have these in my bags in every single bag that I use because I use this one right here for if I'm like going out to work then I use the other one like my pink one if we're going somewhere and I don't want a big bag but then I also have a bigger bag or my lululemon cross thingy that I want to have so basically I've just bought enough so that I'll have a hand sanitizer in every bag because I genuinely do switch out my bag so often because I only use one wallet and really it's my keys wallet and then depending on which bag it is how much extra stuff but I want to have the staples in them because I use at least two to three bags a week depending on what we're doing I don't know I just like to have stability in my bags okay so I got these little guys and i think they're just the cutest thing i really do but i actually genuinely like them like a hundred percent is the packaging helping yeah because i think that these are so cute i mean i don't really care about this packaging it's cute it, it looks good they did good with it but the actual little spray thing i love and uh yeah i got this one's blue sandalwood and then these two are rainwater i would have just gotten three rainwater but they did not have three so I got the ones that they had and that's my little tiny haul. It's amazing how small a bag can be and yet so expensive from Sephora. I feel like Sephora is expensive, but I did not see this stuff at my Ulta. So I am an Ulta girl first and foremost because I just like them better, but I will go to Sephora when I can. Anyways, I'm going to sit down and watch Miss Jess Owen's new video while I eat my Panera and await the next appointment. And then hopefully we'll be heading home soon. I really would love to get out of here by the time it's like before 3 p.m. Because that's when the big storm is supposed to hit back home. And I'd rather be home and settled instead of driving into the storm. You know, just personal preference here. But I gotta go because I need to turn this air on because it is 78 degrees outside and I am sweating. Because it's not, it's not a cool 78. It's a humid, which I love humidity, but not in my car. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, anyways, bye. Hello everybody, I am back home and I am now taking off my shoes. I usually do that before I come in here, but oh, I am so tired from driving. I'll tell you what, I do not enjoy it, but I enjoy being the passenger less, so I drive. But I wanted to give you a little update where I am with all my books because I'm currently reading three, technically four, but I put a, mem a memory called Empire on hold for right now, like completely until I finish more library books and A Day of Fallen Night. So the one I wanted to update you about is one that I do have from the library, but I also got it on my Kindle from the library because they had multiple copies like available. I was like, oh my God, why not check it out for my Kindle? So if I want to be laying in bed and reading at night, 
the options there, guys. So that is the last heir to the Blackwood Library. Let me show you. Isn't it beautiful? It's a lovely cover. It's even better in person. But I just read the prologue of that last night, and it is about a woman who inherits a library after World War I. So that's my Kindle read right now. For the soulmate, currently, I am on chapter 34. I got to page 150. So I am halfway to my goal of getting to page 200 in here today. But honestly, I think I could surpass it and just finish it because I don't really have a whole lot to do today as far as like what's going on at home. Um, the dishes are good. Cleaning is good. I mean, I need to do it again this weekend. But for now, good. I'm starting to get my anxiety that comes with going to the dentist and I'm going tomorrow and I'm just getting fillings but I hate them so much specifically I hate the shots so not fun but it's fine every time I go I always bring a book with me and usually it's just to hold like a weighted blanket but they comment about how I always bring a big book and it's funny because <laughs> it's either been words of radiance oath bringer or this one that I've brought and I listen to a Stormlight Archive Spotify playlist, so while I am getting all of my teeth stuff done, I am like maladaptive daydreaming that I am, you know, fighting in the fighting in those big old storms. What am I doing? I don't know. Honestly, if I was in that world, I would not make it. But since it's a daydream, anything can happen. Nothing happens. It's mainly me just thinking, remember to breathe. Breathing is good. You need to do it, but out your nose. The other part is not available currently because you're at the dentist. That's enough talk about that, quite honestly. But these are the plans for today. <sighs> Is it? Yes. The main plan is to finish this. And then tonight, one of the Patreons that I'm pledged to is doing some productivity sprints. That's at 5. It's 3.09 right now. So actually, I could do two hours of reading this. I think it would let me finish this and then read this during those sprints. And that kind of sounds perfect, perfect, perfect. And then I'll read this little guy when I am trying to fall asleep tonight. Because I'm trying to get back into the habit of charging my phone away from the bed. And no no blue light screens before bed it does make such a difference for me but i am so bad at like once i fall out of a habit i gotta get back into it i know it but mm. anyways i am gonna go shower i'm over the makeup situation the less i wear it the less tolerant i am to it <laughs> i used to wear it every day all day who was i I don't, a less lazy person, <laughs> but I'm gonna go shower, read, check in with you guys. I don't know if I'll check in with you tomorrow because it's dental day, synonymous with doomsday. So, yeah, send up prayer. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hello guys, so um, updating you sooner than I thought I would. To be honest, I thought I was not gonna have anything to say. Once I got home, I would just be, you know, spiraling about the dentist. However, I came home to six packages that I swear I didn't order. Came out of my bank account, but I don't know who ordered it. <laughs> so we're gonna go through it. There's a Waterstones pre-order, the Aluma Crate book for the most recent one that just got sent out, and then two Fairyloot special editions. And the sleeve not the sleeve dust cover i ordered for my quarter silver flames this year so i will be putting this on look how beautiful oh my god i love that stuff i'll be putting that on after this clip but it is gonna look so good on this book and look at all of my tabs are gonna look so good and now i want to just reread the series but i won't so the first one is the dead romantics it has these sprayed edges, and this is one that I have on my list that I wanted to read, and then I saw this copy and I was like, oh my god. And I've been told by multiple people, you're going to love this, and I was like, well, might as well buy a copy and have that copy be pretty. So here we are. Then I got, this is the Illumicrate book, Some Desperate Glory. Look how shiny this is, like, ugh. and the edges, oh my god, are you kidding me? They're so beautiful. And then there's some art on the inside and they're gorgeous. I'm putting these all on my shelf down here that has all the pretty sprayed edges because I just look at them. Then I also moved over my two editions of House of Earth and Blood because this one matches the Waterstones one I have because it's the Waterstones exclusive. And this is just the American one because it, I wasn't going to be able to get it. This one 
on time because I wanted it the day of. So I need to switch all these tabs over to here. And I don't think I wrote in this one so I can just give that on to the next person. Then I got TJ Klune's new book, which I did specifically go to cancel this. And I'm now like, did I cancel the wrong one? Did I reorder it? at some point? Did I just not cancel? I don't know what happened. I'm not upset that it's not canceled though because these edges are beautiful but it's in the lives of puppets and look are you kidding me? Like these are so freaking beautiful. His Some of his books are just like the most gorgeous things you've ever seen so I'm happy that I have those now. And then the last two are going to go right onto their shelf. These are the fairy loot editions of House of Earth and Blood and House of Sky and Bereth. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm so glad I went with the fairy loot because these look so good to me. Like the spines, like, are you kidding? Like, just see it together. Yes, yes, they look beautiful. Even these edges, they're better in person. I really, I'm not gonna lie to you, I didn't like them. And I didn't love these quotes on the back. They're kind of cute, but also it's on the back, so I'm not that upset about it. But the front, I think that at first, I thought these looked so overwhelming on Instagram, but they look, they translated really, really well. Oh, and these are both signed, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I wish, like, I'm speaking it into existence, but these are the last ones that I got. So I'm gonna go put these over on their new designated shelf, which is in here with me, obviously and then put on the Quarter Silver Flames dust cover and then actually start reading for the night and winding down because it is 6.30 and that is too close to being tomorrow and going to the dentist. So yeah, but for the emoji for this video, I'm gonna do it in the middle, not at the end. It's gonna be a space emoji because this book, it's making me wanna go back to my space book, A Memory Called Empire. I just can't stick with a book right now. I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, I have no idea if this is going well. I should probably check first before I continue talking. Okay, I'm trying to keep this as far away from me as possible because I don't like how good this camera is at all. Like my, I tried a new primer with this foundation. I tried that milk primer. I used too much of it, so it made my foundation clumpy. We don't have to talk about it. I'm on my way to my mother's for brunch for Mother's Day. I'm gonna take you guys with us and i wanted to show you the bag that i got her because it's really cute so i got her this from target is so i got her this little guy from target isn't it so cute and it has like sparkly paper as well that is my headband but that is not my water bottle i don't know how it got in but yeah i think this is adorable it's glittery but i don't know if you can yeah you can see it doesn't it look so cute yes it does yes it does also, yes, I still have these in here because I'm obsessed with keeping this clean now. And, oh yeah, a coffee on the go? Absolutely, okay. Something about vlogging with my camera is giving me a little bit too much power. I need to put it away. I gotta go. Okay, I guess, you know, angles and lighting, who cares about them? Let me turn off my car. So, hi guys, I'm here to round out the vlog. Don't look at the sweater in my bag seat. It's there for just in case, literally everything in my life, just in case. But I realized this vlog was meant to be not a weekly vlog. It was supposed to be a productive two, three days vlog. I've done it before. Like I'll link what I was attempting 
but I realized I need to just do one day, not multiple days. This was still a pretty productive week, so I'm going to still call it that. Just, it'll be productive days, multiple. Maybe I'll call it that in the thumbnail and then like a weekly vlog. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I did want to just recap what the heck I even read um, this whole week because it was definitely an anxiety week. And I think despite that, I still did pretty good, you know? So I read, I guess, three thrillers this week, which is on brand. That is pretty much all I do when I'm on my period and anxious is it's just a thriller time, which you would think wouldn't be that. Like you would think I would want fluffy, nice books. No, just murder, please on a platter if you have it. The Writing Retreat. Did I read that this week? No way. What day is it? Oh, I guess I finished that that Sunday into this week. I don't know. I'm counting it. Love it. So The Writing Retreat. Weird. Don't, don't think so. But the next book that I read, The Last Word by Taylor Adams. Oh my god. Y'all need to read this book. I I don't even remember what I said in this vlog. I don't even care what I said in this vlog. I know some people skip to like the time stamps where I like do the reviews. So I'll just do two reviews right now and timestamp them. If you care about that, if you don't, you're probably already here and hi, love you the most. The last word by Taylor Adams was insane. <laughs> like chaotic, crazy. I have some pals that read extreme horror and while that genre is not for me, I have heard many things about the community, well parts of the community, that I could definitely see in this book and I thought was really funny. If you don't know the whole thing and you've just come here for the review, basically this woman is house sitting a house on the beach, very deserted area, and she writes a review for a book that she read that her neighbor recommended her and it was awful it wasn't great one star review well the author said take it down or else and he wasn't joking so we find out what or else was and it wasn't great she took care of things she took care of business but there are so many plot twists that i did not think there would be i thought this was going to be very just a straightforward slasher of course not this is the same compulsively readable vibe that i got from no exit and I love, like, I thought it was just so fun, fast paced. Once you hit 70 pages, like, you had to just keep reading to know what was happening. It freaked me out. I got scared at night. Didn't love that. So there's that. And then I read The Soulmate by Sally Hempworth. And I did like this one as well. Wasn't you know, like a super groundbreaking book, but it was very emotional, which is kind of like I'm realizing just what she does. So I definitely want to check out her other book. But this one is about a family that lives by this cliff that is known for people going there to end their lives. And the husband kind of takes up this almost hobby-like thing where when they see someone on the side of the cliff, they go and talk to them. And he's saved like almost 10 lives by doing that since they've lived there. But then things start unraveling about him and their past. And one of the people that goes to the cliff ends up jumping, but the wife sees the husband and it looks like he pushed the girl that jumped and then it's like wait what is happening this one definitely has a weird mishmash of genres so it is a thriller setup like the beginning and taking us to where our plot is going to start is a thriller setup and there is some like untrusting can't rely on this person's POV aspects to it that are thriller-esque, but the majority of the story is simply a mystery that's unfolding and we're kind of watching it as it's told to us. And there's a lot of family dramas in it. I would very much liken this to the same kind of thing as Big Little Lies, because I would not say that Big Little Lies is a thriller. I would say it's a drama mystery or a mystery drama, because it's mainly a drama about people's lives and their families, but there is a mystery element because because it's got, you know, like a murder involved. So I think that if you liked Big Little Lies, this author would also be a very good one for you to check out. And this book specifically was kind of like that to me. And I loved Big Little Lies. The show, A1. But also, that made me think of steak sauce. What the heck? I haven't thought about that in years. Anyways, I have to skedaddle. I gotta drive. I gotta zip zam zoom up the highway to go to therapy now. I'm pretty sure I told you an emoji before and I don't remember what it was. Coulda, <laughs> coulda called that. So uh, I'm gonna put a turtle. Turtle emoji is the bonus emoji if you made it to the very, very end, I suppose. They don't have a tortoise emoji, so that's not great. Annabeth is not represented in the emojis. It's okay. A turtle is fine. The turtle emoji is cute, but she's not a turtle. She doesn't have flippers. She has feet. So... <laughs> 
anyways, um, I'm gonna go and I will check in with you guys later. I guess also I could update that I have read over half of um, A Day of Fallen Night now. But that was all this weekend. That's kind of what I focused on and that's why there wasn't any updates of me verbally speaking this weekend. Um, also because I was celebrating Mother's Day with my mother. I'm actually gonna go now. This is the longest goodbye ever. It's who I am. Thank you for watching so much. I hope you have an amazing morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are. I'll catch you in the comments down below and in my next video. Bye! <laughs>